thinking about getting into streaming in this video right here i'm going to show you exactly how to start streaming on mixer on xbox one without the need of having a pc let's dive in what's going on it's your boy santana with lines among sheep where i bring you guys the best streaming tips and tricks if it's your first time here and you want to learn how to improve and grow your stream and personal brand subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload a new video every single tuesday at 11 a.m eastern time streaming on mixer is a great way to showcase your talent and build a community around what it is that you love but so many people don't get started because you feel like you need all this fancy equipment by the end of this video you're going to learn exactly how to start streaming on mixer directly from your xbox without the need of an actual pc step one activating broadcasting Okay, so let's go ahead and activate broadcasting on your Xbox. On your Xbox controller, hit the middle button to bring up the menu. We want to go over to settings. Okay, inside of settings, you want to select the account tab and then move over to privacy and online safety. Then you want to select Xbox Live privacy. And under Xbox Live Privacy, you're going to see child, teen, and adult. Now, you may not have an adult account, so you may need to consult with the adult account holder to go ahead and make these changes to activate broadcasting. Otherwise, let's go ahead and move forward if you have access to do this. So we want to go ahead and select View Details and Customize. Once you select that, come down to Game Content. And then you want to go ahead and scroll over to where it says you can broadcast gameplay. You want to make sure that this is selected as allow to be able to activate broadcasting. And once you have done that, we've now activated broadcasting on your actual Xbox. Step two, console update. Let's make sure your console is updated. Access the menu guide, go to settings. Under settings, we want to go ahead and select the actual system tab. Then select update and downloads, and let's check the latest console update status. Once you've checked that and everything is up to date, you are good to move on to step number three. Step number three, check in your internet speed. Now this step is not required. You will need access to a computer to be able to check this. So if you don't have access to a computer, feel free to move on to step number four. If you do have access to a computer, go ahead and follow along so we can check your internet speed to make sure that your stream does not lag. So on your computer, we wanna go ahead and go to speedtest.net. Okay, once you're there, select go so we can go ahead and test your actual internet speed to see how well your stream will perform. So we're gonna get the actual ping, the download, and the actual upload speed. Okay, the one thing that we want to focus on the most is your actual upload speed. Your upload speed is going to determine how well your stream is going to perform and how well it's going to look to your actual viewers. So if you want to avoid any kind of lag, you want to have an upload speed out of, of at least five and higher. Okay, so that's the number you want to focus on. If you have an actual upload that is five or higher, then you should have no issue streaming directly from your Xbox. So once we've determined what our upload speed is, we can go ahead and move on to actual step four of the actual process. So before we move forward, go ahead and comment below what your internet speed is as this determines whether your stream will lag or not. Step number four, your mic, your webcam, and your actual chat. So let's go ahead and start with your actual microphone. Any microphone that is compatible with Xbox, you can use, right? So that can be a regular headset, that can be Astro A40s if that's what you have, it can be your actual Kinect. Now just keep in mind with the actual Kinect, if you have the Xbox S, you will need an actual adapter to be able to use the Kinect as your actual microphone, okay? So once you decided on what microphone you're gonna use, let's go ahead and make sure that inside your Xbox you have it on for your broadcast all right so inside your Xbox you want to go ahead and hit the navigation to access the menu once you access the menu go to the little broadcast section select set up your broadcast and then once the screen pops up you want to make sure that your microphone is actually on and once that microphone is on now you have audio for your actual broadcast all right so the next thing we want to talk about is your actual camera so you can use your actual connect or you can use the logitech c920 which is a usb webcam that i use and you can find this the link for that uh, webcam in the description below so once you decided on the actual webcam you want to make sure it's on and now we can decide where we want to position the actual camera 
right? So you can put it towards the left, towards the bottom, you know, on the right side, up to the top. You know, you can really move it on into any one of these boxes that you see available. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can decide whether you want it to be a little bit more to the left, a little bit more to the right, or have it more centered. For actual mixer, um, I found that the best camera placement um, for the camera is going to be on the left hand side. Okay, so once you go ahead and set up your camera, you're good to go. And now we can move on to actually focusing on your actual chat, right? So one of the best things you want to do is be able to engage with your actual community. So you want to be able to see your chat so you're able to talk and play at the same time. So you want to go to broadcast options and you want to select chat. Now, once again, you can decide where you want your chat to live, whether that be on the right side, whether it be on the left, at the top, or in the middle. I found that the best place to put the chat is on the bottom right-hand side and have your webcam on the left side. So once you've established where you want your chat to be, now we've set up our mic, our webcam, and our chat, and now you're ready to move on to step number five. Step number five, your actual stream title. So your stream title is very important because this is what people are going to see and is what's going to make them want to click into your stream to watch what you're doing. So you want to make sure that you take a little bit of time to think of a nice title that's going to make people want to click over to come spend some time with you. So let me go ahead and show you guys how you update your actual stream title. So on your Xbox, you want to go ahead and access the navigation screen. Go to your broadcast options. You want to select more options. And then you want to select change stream title. Now, this is where you're going to be able to update the title that everyone's going to see and want to click when they look at your stream. So I personally like to put what I'm doing on the stream, how many days I've been streaming for, and my status on that actual game. So once you guys establish a title, go ahead and save it. And now you're ready to move on to the actual next step. Step number six, going live. So it's time to go ahead and activate your stream and go live so people can watch you. So let me show you how you actually start your actual broadcast. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and load up the game that you're going to be playing. Once you uploaded the game, you want to go ahead and access the actual navigation screen. Go to the broadcast section, select set up broadcast. And now you're ready. All you need to do is hit start broadcast. And once you hit start broadcast, everybody on your friends list will be notified and you'll be able to go ahead and start playing your game and engaging with your community. Once you're done streaming, you access the navigation menu once more. You go to the broadcast section and instead of it saying start broadcast, it will say stop broadcast and that will go ahead and end your stream for today. So there you go. Now that you know how to go ahead and stream on Mixer using your Xbox, how do you improve and grow? I've created an actual Mixer streaming checklist with some handy tips to get you started on the right track. You can find the link to download the checklist in the description below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe, and share it with someone who's looking to start streaming, and comment below if helpful if this video helped you. I'll see you guys next week. You know the model, hustle, live, repeat.